On the popular video site YouTube, there exist countless videos called Let's Play, where socially maladjusted individuals talk over footage of themselves playing video games for money. Somewhere in Ohio, one such Let's Player and his wife decide to continue the practice with varying degrees of success on a licensed game for a TV series way outside the typical demographic for this type of video. These are their stories. Alright, defense... Come on, alright. Oh god, two new objections for me to learn. Hearsay is a valid objection when a witness quotes someone who is not in court or cannot testify to the truth of the repeated statement. So it's like, well, someone so else is not here. So if she says anything, well, Rachel said, you have to say hearsay well, because Rachel right. is obviously dead and not there. It's hearsay who is not in the courtroom. No expert analysis. When a witness testifies with no expertise to back it up, for example, testifying on medical matters with no medical expertise. All right, makes sense. Remember, just as someone... Knowing when not to object is as important. The correct choice to withdraw my objection. Oh, I could have used that earlier. Thanks, guys. Nikki, in the weeks after your sister's murder, how did your dad act? Crazy. My dad has PTSD again. It all came back. He needs different treatment. That's probably objection. Uh, the witness. Thing. Hearsay because no expert knowledge. Right. Nikki Trevino is not a psychiatrist, Your Honor. He's not qualified to diagnose his father. Yeah, makes sense. Sustained. Mr. Trevino, please limit your comments to what Boom. you saw. Tell us the behavior yeah. you observed. He, he couldn't control his temper. He, he would, like, yell when the phone rang or, like, if a dog was barking two miles away. I didn't know what to do. When Rachel was killed, I expected him to be really sad or d depressed, but not, you know, not angry. And this behavior, had you ever seen it before? No, but my sister did. Uh, hearsay. Objection. Hearsay, yeah, she's not hearsay. 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 Regrettably, the witness's sister is deceased and can't testify to the truth. Yeah, of the your sister's dead, Sustained. bitch. They're gonna help you now. I disregard that last remark. When? After he got home from the More in my favor. More in my favor. Pop had his troubles with the law, the felony assault charge, some other bullshit. Uh, uh, some other sorry, bullshit. Nonsense. That's that fucking case. Sorry, T-rated, T-rated game. Uh, wait. What am I objecting about? Objection. No expert knowledge. Is hearsay or no expert knowledge? And expert. No expert knowledge. Overruled. Fuck! Did that you took, think that hit me with 20 anyone? points. My uncle said he was getting dangerous. Oh, that's hearsay. That's totally Objection. hearsay. Hearsay, 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 hearsay. Stop talking about your goddamn hearsay. family! Sustain. If your uncle would like to testify, then by all means. However, you may not testify for him. Do you think your father was in his right mind when he shot Alexander Baran? No. When my sister got murdered, I tell you, it smashed something deep inside my dad. And the idea that this fat Russian bastard could walk away scot-free because of some technicality? My dad did the world a favor. Thank you, Mickey. No further questions. I could have gotten a little better. Oh, I won by 10 minutes, so alright. I'm back. I'm back on top again. I'm back from where we started. Now it's my turn to rip him a new one. Alright, looks like we're playing tennis. Right. My turn to make Trevino. Time to make him squeal. Alright, see if I can make him any news. Father had a plan to kill Alexander Baron or try to obtain a weapon because then I'm gonna throw him down for. Company murder. So let's talk about this Baran dude and see what you thought of him. How do you and your father feel about Alexander Baran? How do we feel? Are you freaking serious? Easy, <laughs> Mr. Uh, permission to treat the witness is hostile. <laughs> we hate the man. Alexander Baran is the guy who killed my little fuck? sister. We hate Electric my Ninja too because he's playing Fallout 3 too much. He said he would gladly Just kill kidding, Baran so we could Ninja. go to hell and kill him again. He's a fat cat with an army of lawyers ready to help him weasel out of everything he does. You know this guy. Every day you read about him. Oh, he loves to do the crime, but he does not do the time. Nope, not these boys. Nope. Okay. Hey, he just sums his like, oh, well, well, that was something. All right. Threat, threat, Did you Baran. ever hear your father well, threaten to ninja kill too. Baran? Hurt? Yes. Kill? No. no. Uh, okay, everybody's lying short. Yeah! Uh, because they hated. <laughs> uh. Duh, 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 duh. Ah, shit. Sorry, counselor. 
Well, I was just reading. That's not true. On it. You Sorry. just told us your father said he'd like to, quote, kill Baran and go to hell so he could kill him again. Oh, that sorry. Was, that was like a hate and kill a you know, speech. Or the hate truth. would have brought on killing, so whatever. Yeah, father's gun. Let's talk about his gun now. Did your father try to buy a gun a week before the attack? Yeah, I guess. Did, Did you just try to help sign for it? Yeah. So what? Your father was convicted of felony assault in 1992. He's not allowed to have a gun. <laughs> Did you know about his conviction? Nah, I, I didn't know nothing about that. Bullshit! The man's got a right to defend himself. Actually, he when he's a convicted son? felon, he doesn't. Yep, that's right. Thank you, token black guy. Electric ninja! Come on, dude. <sighs> Where did he get the gun he used in court? He I bought told it. the cops already. I don't know where he got the gun. You sure you didn't help him? I've never seen it before. You just said I he had helped had him. One. You sure you didn't help him get it? You are You're under oath, you perjuring motherfucker. I, I did not help him. Pop smuggled it in under his jacket. I don't know how he made it past security, but he did. Can you prove he's lying? Sure, I, c I can't! Fuck! What the fuck? Why didn't you get help for your dad? He seemed rational. So he was in control. Oh, man. Enough so. That I'm not going to let this worried. guy slip away. Yeah, I wasn't worried. So where's the PTSD? I guess I didn't see Loser. it then. What? So maybe he didn't have it. That's not what I meant. He did. So why didn't you get him help? Either you saw he was out of control and you did nothing, or you saw nothing. Hey, there was there was no way to know what my dad was gonna do. He was crazy. How could I possibly like have known it would come to this? Actual show a little bit, yeah. except for we're helping could them. Could have known, sure. Oh, I'm feeling this. My case isn't doing very good. How can I convince Zuri? He said his dad didn't have him. He did say. Uh, boom. Yeah. That's it. Nothing crazy today, because I'm in the moment. He already had a felony assault in his past, he tried to illegally buy a gun, and he told you he wanted Baran dead. If that was my old man, I'd have been a little yeah, worried. Yeah, imagine if my dad said he had a gun. You want us to believe your dad just snapped. Oh, he letterbox, Alexander closing Baran, in on him. Knew in his heart Baran was guilty. He tried to buy a gun, but couldn't. So he found one some other way. Then he smuggled it through security, stayed cool until he had a fair shot. And then he went crazy. An accurate pattern right into his intended victim. Now, Mickey, does that really sound like someone who just suddenly snapped? Objection. Withdrawn. Withdrawn. Bam! Ten more points for me. None of this would have happened if people acted right. Rachel writes a, a nasty blog and this guy Baran kills her. My dad's going out of his mind and his doctor goes on frickin' vacation. Vacation, can you imagine? It ain't right. Everybody fails us and we gotta suffer for it. You can tell because I'm totally Hispanic, your honor. <laughs> ah, damn it. Jerry's sure, have defense on that one, but the jury still likes my case, so we're still ahead by 30. I don't want a hung jury, though. Come on, man. We gotta focus. Be better. I gotta get good. Alright, defense is gonna hear some new tricks! Shit! Time to brush on my old objections and learn a new one. Alright, remember hearsay means the expert is, the witness is repeating something in third hand, and no expert knowledge means someone's talking about medical legal professional knowledge they don't really know about. And the new one is speculation, is when a oh, witness yeah. speculates about what might have happened, hypothetically. This is not admissible evidence in court. Shit, I'm bad at these. Mr. Trevino, why did you shoot Alexander Baron? So why shoot him? He murdered my daughter. He was gonna go free. He was going to walk. He was going to walk. Objection. I will object because this is speculation. The witness can't know whether Mr. Baron was guilty or whether he would have gone yeah. free because he stopped the trial dead. Bam! Sustained. Ho ho ho! Can you tell us about Alexander Literally, he stopped it dead. Hey, I'm yes. not a lawyer, but I know what that means. He just gets to skate. The law says he can run off to Russia. This is no expert witness. No. No expert. Objection. Yeah, there's objection. This is no expert knowledge. Witness stated he wasn't a lawyer. The diplomatic immunity rules are actually very complex, Your Honor. Alexander Braun's status was still under review even at the time yeah. of the trial. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they help you from murder and shit like that. Can you take us back to 1991 and your I wouldn't rest because your defendant is going to fuck everything yeah, up. I was a ranger in Iraq. I, uh, I saw a lot of stuff. When I got back home, I had some uh, trouble settling in. What kind of trouble? I was never a violent guy before, but like suddenly anything could set me off. I, I fought all the time, I, I couldn't sleep. 
My yeah. wife divorced me. Like Martin Freeman. I wanted yeah. to die. Is there anything really? No, I don't see anything objectionable. And what did the yeah? Other I got doctors. points for that. Doctors said I had PTSD. They, uh, right. they said it interfered with my ability it. to regulate my emotions. So I joined a therapy group. I took meds for a while for the depression. Got myself back together. What might have happened if you hadn't had therapy? I don't know. Maybe gone crazy. Maybe hurt somebody. Uh, I might have snapped like I did that day in court. Objection. What are we objecting to? Objection. Speculation. Calls for speculation. Yeah, yeah calls for speculation. Witness to relate an imaginary scenario. Sustained. Sustained. Let's focus on reality, yeah, Miss right. like, But you got one? yourself back to Speaking of reality, follow three, give me your edition. That will not for Steve. So what happened recently to bring it all back? Rachel. Your daughter was tragically murdered, and the main suspect appeared to you to have diplomatic immunity. Appeared to have diplomatic immunity. Hmm. What's she Objection. doing? This is... Speculation? Pretending. So, yeah, speculation? Speculation. No. Nope. Overruled. Defense is well within its rights to use words like suspect and appears in relation to the victim. They probably did that just for my people beautiful who baby girl. Part. He had no right. How could this happen in the 21st century yeah, in yep, America? That's right. This is 21st century America. Innocent girl gets killed. The cops pin the blame on this scumbag, and still, he might walk. We away. haven't even done anything with man, the trial yet. Father, we were, we were close to getting it. She looked to me to protect her. All her life, I, I was a daddy, right? And I failed. And you failed. You didn't protect her when she needed but it most. I didn't even know her. She started the game and she was, and she was dead. That's not my fault. Behind bars. So, as a father, it was up to me to put that wrong to right. Because no one else was going to. object? Now my baby girl can rest with some kind of dignity. Objection, Thank speculation. You, Mr. Trevino. And sorry. Speculates that uh, she rested with Mr. any kind of dignity. Cutter, your witness. Uh, defense requests a short recess, Your Honor. We wish to confer with the people about a plea deal. Well, <laughs> we're all on pins and needles. Because <laughs> I'm winning, I bet. The jury's leading toward my case. The defense is going to suck my dick so he can get off easy. <laughs> ah, looking good. Mike, Abby, let's not let a grieving father go to jail for the rest of his life. That's fine. Can we talk I mean, to you? At least Depends. he killed what are you offering to somebody, you know? One year in county plus probation. You give us the time. He doesn't belong in jail. Nah, You're he kidding, doesn't. right? He's a killer. I got the blood stains on my jacket. Easy, Carmichael. It's okay. Yeah, it's our counter offer. It's not like he's gonna go out there and kill again. All right. He scales knew of... he wanted to kill just that guy. So, if the scales of justice show that I performed extremely well in court, I'm gonna try for the maximum sentence of murder to 25 years. If I'm less confident, I can try a letter to charge that both me and defense feels appropriate. I don't know. Do I go after this guy or do I show a bit of mercy? Because I feel like showing mercy for this first case, you know? Uh, no. I don't want to. The scales just don't favor me. They just like to reject my offer. I have to transfer me to the murder versus the murder. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I could go no deal and get him everything. I'd go murder two for 25 years. I'd go man one for 10 years or man two for two years. But not murder one, though. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? It's up to you. I don't, I don't know, man. I have a man's fate in my hands. A virtual man made of ones and zeros, but still, he could rot in virtual jail due to one click. I don't... What could it be, man? Murder two, 25 years. Murder two. That's too much, though. He didn't... I mean... He killed someone! Who cares, though? Okay, how's this? I this? care! Okay. I see what they're doing here. No deal. We sit, we tell them to fuck off, and we hit them with everything we got. I don't feel like doing that. We go with man two for two years, which is too lenient for tell me. Tell the fuck off. Murder two for 25 years, that's too much. So we'll go with man one for 10 years. Because if he didn't shoot a douchebag Russian billionaire asshole, it would have been totally different, I think, you know? If it, if it, no, if it would have been. That's still murder. If it would have been somebody I gave like two shits about, then I want to bet upset. But I didn't give a fuck about this guy, so I'm gonna let him off easy, but not too easy. 
Man won 10 Man years. Man won 10 years in general population, but no parole. You do all the time. Every day of it, Mr. Trevino. You got yourself a deal, Mike. We'll have the papers drawn up. All right. The people have agreed to a plea and a sentence for the defendant, Your Honor. Then I thank the well, jury for their service. For? Counsel, I will see you at the sentencing hearing on Monday. Mr. Cutter, Miss Carmichael, I, I just wanted to say thank you for the deal. I know what I did was wrong, but Rachel was a beautiful person. See, he was a grieving was father. Smart. He wasn't a she was blood, going blood you know, If it was somebody else, she probably some of the later, the later things, things, I would make throw everything place. on him. But right. I'll give him a deal this Bastard. time. Just Not going to be lenient, but I think man and year 10 years is fair enough and for shooting his a man life. in cold blood without even giving him a proper us. chance in court. From who? Right. Alexander right. Baron? Sure. Or you? Now you'd be all fucking angry about it now. <clears throat> Ray, thought you'd be out having a drink. Nah, I'm going through some old files on the preppy case. Trying to tie the gun to Trevino? And coming up cold. I wish Lanny was still around. He Are we going to do a Lenny good. case next time? Well, this ought to cheer you up. Turns out, Mickey Trevino is an HVAC contractor for the city. Okay. Guess where he did a midnight repair 24 hours before the Alexander Baron trial? Superior Court. He snuck the gun into an air duct. Woo! Shall we go have a word with him? Wow, that was the first episode. Man, this is... That was intense. That so yeah, that was really good. This is actually a fun game. I don't even care that the voice actors aren't even the same. This is and they're not bad. It's not like they're bad at all because they're not. I have a more well, I'm more fun playing it with you, of course. But yeah, no, the, the writing is really strong. They just didn't handle the voice actors. But hey, okay. no, no, this is this this is great. I say we keep going with this. What do you say? I'd say yeah. Alrighty. Wow, that was that was incredible, man. And I don't think it's even done yet. I think all seven of these cases are going to be like in a season of sorts. Sure. They're all going to tie together. Yeah. These are long credits. Clearly. But I want to make sure. I want to make sure that everybody gets their gets theirs. You know, everyone is is good. Even the PR and community dude, Alan Johnson. You know what, Alan? This episode dedicated to you. You did, you did your best, Rebecca. You all did your best. Especially, especially you, Chuck. That was, that's a pretty good uh, Jack McCoy. It, that's a very good Sam Waters. Kid Beyond! <laughs> what? Kid Beyond, Mickey Trevino. Hey, it's on my resume. <laughs> huh. What do you think? Totally love it. Creative executive producer I love, Dick Wolf. I love Roll Murder. The, the, it did it justice. Yeah, this, justice time. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Ready to go, Telltale. Once again, you prove that you are the masters of point and click adventure games. Even though this is more like a dragon circle type of game. That was fun. That was fun. And hey, we'll see you next time.